Daniel, you want to start us off, Daniel? Juwan, Eli talked about taking care of the ball late in the game. I guess what are some of the, the late game execution lessons you guys can take away from tonight as a team besides that? Now, fundamentally, we got to do a better job of taking care of the basketball. So it's a learning process for uh, all of us as a whole, not singling one individual out, everyone as a team, coaches included. Steve? Juwan, could you talk about Eli and, and the ability he has to do so many things for you, and also his ability to slow the game down and the pace that, the way he sees the court. Well, Eli is, uh, you know, he does an amazing job of, of finding um, opportunities to take advantage of what the defense gives him, and that comes with experience, uh, film study, uh, and then being able to apply it on the floor. Um, over the years of being around him, you know. We as a staff have the utmost confidence, as well as his teammates. When the ball is in his hands, you know he's gonna nine times out of ten gonna make the right decision. Either he play, make a play for himself or for others. Jeff, Juwan, Andre went a little quiet down the stretch. Did Steve Mel change anything they were doing to make that happen? And have you guys have to counter that? Going I have no idea. What, you know, I don't really know. Honestly, I'll go back and take a look at the film. Michael. Juan, I know the three-point shots weren't falling tonight, but were you pleased with the shot selection, or were you taking shots from beyond the arc that you were not happy with? Uh, no, actually, I was pleased with the shot selection. Austin? So when you look at the final score, you played well defensively, but did you feel like maybe your defense let you down in a couple spots there down the stretch? Well, uh, it wasn't just down the stretch. It was throughout the game where we made some defensive mistakes, and uh, we're going to take ownership of it. You know, we're going to watch it on film. And, uh, and come in tomorrow with solutions on how we can get better. But there were a lot of mistakes made defensively throughout 40 minutes of play. It was not just down the stretch. Andrew? On some of the offensive struggles tonight, I guess how much would you put on kind of self-inflicted errors versus you know, Seton Hall being good? Well, uh, not taking anything away from Seton Hall defense. Um, and they're a well-coached team. I played, came here, played hard, won a, a game on the road. Um, but there were some times where I felt like we as a team, uh, we didn't capitalize on uh, taking advantage of what their defense gave us. And there were times where we just uh, let them off the hook. And there were times when I felt like we had some possessions where I can, with some learning possessions we can hopefully take back and learn from, which I know we will because we're going to watch it tomorrow. And, and we're going to talk about it as a team and see how we can improve. And then when you know, double-digit leads start shrinking, like what, what did you see from your, your guys, like the demeanor? Were they oh, they were there. They're still locked in. You know, they were still locked in. Okay. Did you, want, right did you take us through, I guess, your, your two final offensive plays? I guess what you drew up and you got what you were looking for? Yes, we did. We really did get what we were looking for. We also got a foul at the end. Anybody need anything else for Coach? Coach, thank you. Thank you.